New at four, a young mother was killed in a crash this morning in Volusia County, leaving behind her infant son. Washington Volusia County reporter Pamela Combs spoke with the victim's family. She was an amazing young mother. Um, always put her children, her child first. Family members of one of the victims in this morning's crash were on scene not long after the accident. Florida Highway Patrol confirmed a 20-year-old Liliana Escobedo was killed after the three-car accident at US 17 and Privat Road in Seville. Well, the crash happened near this curb. You can actually see some debris right on the side of the road from the accident earlier today. Chopper 2 was overhead after the crash. Two of the cars totaled after Liliana failed to negotiate a curb. When she tried to get back in her lane, she and a car headed the opposite direction collided. The road was closed for about four hours while traffic homicide investigators pieced together what happened. The family also there, figuring out what Liliana's death means for her baby. As a family, we will make sure to always um, have that legacy of her name around her so he's going to grow up to know what amazing mother he had. But while they mourn and figure out next steps for Liliana's baby, they lean on one another. Either way, I mean, we're going to support one another and keep Liliana's memory alive. She would always be remembered and um, she would always hold a, uh, you know, a place in everybody's heart for the amazing person that she that she was. As for the other victims in the crash, Florida Highway Patrol says one person was transported to Halifax Medical Center for care in Volusia County. Pamela Combe, West 2 News.